so this video here I'm um, doing a lipo conversion kit so that I can uh, hook up my like a two cell lipo uh, to this thing but the, you know I don't know if you knew if anybody doesn't know it's a 7.4 volt it, if you directly plug this in directly it'll fry your whole radio so you have to get like a converter or inverter I'm not sure what, what you call these things um, to bring this down bring it down to from 7.4 to like a 6 or 6.2 volt or something like that so it doesn't fry up your radio this is a VXR one I think it's like 40 45 bucks or something like that but it's like a really really good one but anyway when you turn it on <clears throat> when you plug it in here's like a in and an out uh, and when you plug it in I think it's this light right here it, it comes on green just saying that hey everything's good you know I guess your voltage is good current's good whatever um, but it also has, whenever it's your battery's getting low, <clears throat> it pops on like an amber light right here. So what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see it, but the LEDs are still in there. But I just wired right directly into the LEDs. And, um, sorry about that. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wire directly into these LEDs, into the green one and to the amber one. So I want to make sure I can see from my radio on the outside this LED and this LED to to give me a, a reminder. Now this is green and amber, but I'm going to make this blue, which is going to be in the normal blue LED slot that you put that you you'd normally see the amber one, but I changed it to blue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to hook this LED. I'm going to disconnect it from the board. And I'm going to hook it directly to this so that when it's on, it, this lights up this LED. Now, I'll know when my radio is on because I have my black backlight. So I'll know, hey, everything's working. So I don't really need this indicator light. It's just there for looks, I guess. So um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then on, the, on this other one, uh, it's the amber light that pops on saying, I guess, your current's low or whatever. Um, I'm going to hardwire into that, and I'm going to make this, I'm a, at the end of this wire that I made for, like, like I made for this, I'm going to make a red LED. And what I did, what I was going to show you guys, is, I don't know if you can see that, but I made another hole on the opposite side. It looks kind of rough, I haven't cleaned it up, there's still little burrs and stuff in it. But pretty much all I did was I got like a, I don't know, like a 16th inch, 16th of an inch uh, drill bit. And uh, I just drilled it and started wallowing it out inside that hole with my drill. Um, and it, the corners were curved. And all I did was get a, like an X-Acto knife. Yeah. My X-Acto knife right here. And then I just, uh, just pretty much got in the corners and just kind of. Know, made the corners real, um, real pointed, but uh, the LED slides right in there. Um, what I'm going to have to do <clears throat> to make this work, though, is on this main board for the original LED, it has a nice little holder and stuff that puts it right in there for you. What I'm going to have to do with my other LED is once I stick the LED down in there, I'm going to have to hot glue it. So it'll stay. Um, I looked on the internet. I didn't look too far in depth, but I couldn't find any like these LEDs are the sizes of our two two by five. So if you're wanting to look on eBay, I found these on eBay. This blue one, it's a two by five. Sometimes you might see two by five by seven. All the seven means is length. So it's it's two millimeters this way, two millimeters that way, and then five millimeters this way. And then seven millimeters down that way. Of course, you're going to, have to cut it off to make it fit. Anyway, so if you're looking on eBay, that's the size of that. So anyway, I just wanted to stop what I was doing real quick, shoot a video, um, and let you guys know what I'm going to do here. And hopefully, when I come back, um, I'll have that LED mounted and uh, have it hardwired into this uh, inverter. Um, I don't know if you can see this now, I have just a regular, like a, I don't know, receiver pack hookup right here. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'm 
trying to do this with one hand. I'm actually shooting this on my iPhone 4, so one hand's tied up holding this phone. But, um, so what I'll do is I'll take this off, I'll uh, unsolder this, and do a direct solder from here on the out, because the end will go straight to my lipo. Okay, and then the out will go directly to my board right here. Okay, and then all I'll do is these two LEDs hardwire into those and run one LED from my main, just hey, everything's working good, to this LED, and then to my other LED on this thing, just warning me that battery's getting low. I'm going to hardwire this into a red LED into there. So. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me go. Let let me know, and uh, hopefully I'll come back and let you guys know and see how everything worked. And hopefully everything works out smooth. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I don't have very many videos up, but I try to get some videos that um, that are just helpful. Um, anyway, we'll talk to you soon, and uh, thanks for watching.